right, so if you are watching this video, that means that you have a Blink Blink Paper Circuit Kit, and we are so excited that you do. So this video is just a quick getting started video. We're going to walk through uh, the materials in the kit and a basic circuit and get you on your way. So the first thing is with the Blink Blink Paper Circuit Kit, the best types of projects to make are really anything that involves paper or tape. For example, a light up origami bat, a any kind of handmade holiday card, birthday card, thank you card, whatever card, just like so, or even if you want to just play around with building circuits. So the first thing is, let's go over the materials in the kit. Starting off with the batteries, you get a whole pile of these coin cell batteries that are three volts. They come in these little baggies like this because it's really important that when you're storing the batteries, they don't touch and stack on top of each other. If you store them together where they're touching like this, then what happens is it starts to generate a current and it starts to generate energy and they get really hot and it can become dangerous. So make sure when you put your batteries back into your Blink Blink kit that you put each battery back into the individual little bag. Alright, next up is a good old pile of LEDs. So this pack of LEDs, you get multiple colors and multiple sizes in your pack of LEDs. This is where all of the blink blink magic happens. So every LED works the same, it has two legs on it. And if you look closely, you'll see that one leg is longer than the other. That's gonna be the positive side is the long leg and the negative side is the short leg. And we're gonna use that when we start connecting all the components together to make this little guy light up and go blink blink. <laughs> Copper tape. This stuff is super cool. So it's a full roll of copper tape. You're gonna have a little like plastic ceiling. You can just go ahead and peel that off. And then your roll will get started just like this. And it works very similar to normal tape. Both sides are conductive. When you wanna tape it down, you just start to peel off this white backing. <laughs> the last thing that comes in your paper circuit kit is origami paper. So you get a stack of origami paper. This is so you can get started right away with making a circuit. Okay, so first things first, let's just make a basic circuit. So I want you to grab one battery like so. And one LED, whatever color you want to choose, go for it. I'm going to pick blue. And the first thing we want to do is take a look at our LED and our battery. So with this LED, as I said before, you can see that there is a long leg and a short leg. The long leg is the positive leg and the short leg is the negative leg. The battery also has a positive and a negative side. If you look closely at the top, you'll see a plus sign, so that's the positive side. The bottom side of it doesn't have any markings. This blank side is the negative side. So to make this LED light up and go blink blink, what we want to do is connect the positive side of the LED to the positive side of the battery and the negative side of the LED to the negative side of the battery. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that short leg to the back of the battery like this, and then squeeze the legs together so they're both touching the battery, and there you go. We're blink blinking and on our way. So, the next thing is let's build the same circuit onto a piece of origami paper using copper tape. So, grab this piece of paper our battery and let's get our copper tape and our roll of copper tape. So when taping a circuit down to a piece of paper, the best thing to do to start out is tape down 
the negative side of the circuit starting with the LED. So this right side of the LED, the short leg, is the negative side. So I'm going to bend the legs out a little bit so we get space. And then I'm going to tape down this guy right here. So what I'm going to do is just rip off a piece of the copper tape just like so. It's really easy and then I'm going to peel off a little bit of the backing. And as you can see this bottom side is sticky so that's the side I'm going to lay down onto this LED leg right on top of that middle leg right there. And I'm going to extend it out a little bit so we have some space. And now I'm going to rip this off and I'm going to just press really hard on this first strip of copper tape because we want to make sure that this connection from the copper tape to the negative LED like is super strong. Okay, so that is the first part of our circuit. Now what I'm going to do is another strip on the positive side. So I'm going to rip off some more copper tape. And I'm going to lay it down on this side over the positive leg of the LED. And again, pressing really hard, I'm going to go over it with my finger a couple of times. Okay, so now we have our LED taped down to our piece of paper. This is the negative leg of the LED and this is the positive leg of the LED. Okay, so. Now that we have our negative and our positive leg of the LED taped down to the paper, the next thing we want to do is just test the circuit. So I'm going to grab another strip of copper tape off of my roll, like so, and I'm going to place the negative side of the battery, so the bottom side, going to place it on this strip, which is the negative side of the LED, so negative to negative. And then, in order to light up the LED, I want the positive side of the battery to touch the positive side of the LED. So, before I tape it down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the backing on, and I'm going to take the side that has the copper, have it touch the battery here, touch the copper tape here, and there you go. And you see it go blink, blink. So, what's happening is, right now I'm completing the circuit with this strip of copper tape. So pause the top side of the battery is, touch, is touching this copper tape, which is touching the positive side of the circuit, and it's connecting to the negative side, to the bottom uh, side of the battery, and there we go. So now that I know it works, I'm going to peel off this last piece of copper tape and tape down the battery. Going to make sure that the battery is really solidly stuck down there. Once it's connected to the other side, the light will go on, rip off the extra copper tape, and there is your first paper circuit. And now that you have your first paper circuit made, you're off and running with your Blink Blink Paper Circuit Kit. Let us know what you make with your kit.